Hi everyone, in this video we are going to copy a range of cells that we have in Excel worksheet to another worksheet using Power Automate Desktop. So let's jump right into it. All right, so I went ahead and I created a new flow, which I've called copy cells to another worksheet. And one of the first thing that we can do is we can terminate the process if Excel is already started. So that's what I'm going to do now. So terminate and terminate the process. I'm going to drag this here. Uh, we're going to choose the process name and this is Excel and click on save. And now we can start Excel. So I'm going to choose um, Excel directly because we're going to use it a lot. So at least it will be open and launch Excel. Let's drag it in here. And, but this time we're not going to start with a blank document because I already have a sample created. And as you can see, this is some sample data. So I have first name, last name, email address. And you can also see that I only have one uh, worksheet. So let's minimize this and we are going to choose open the following document. Uh, we're going to select the document and click on open, uh, make the instance visible. Why not click on save? Then next we are going to uh, create some variables because we're going to need it for a uh, letter. So Let's create that first and we're going to talk about it. So get first free column and free row. So let's select that. The Excel instance is the Excel instance we've just uh, created. And the variables that we're going to have is first free column and first free row. Let's click on save. And this time we are going to select our range. And this is where the variable that we have just right here are going to be very handy. So we have something that is called um, select the cells in Excel worksheet. So we're going to drag this in. And the Excel instance is again the one that we've created earlier. Um, if we expand the drop down, we have select from a range of cells or a range of cells related to an active cell. We're going to choose the first one. And this is where we are going to start selecting our range. So if I open again the document right here, um, we're going to start on column A and row 1. So let's do just that. Column A, row 1. And then we need to say where we are going to finish. So if we look at the document, we normally would finish on C4, but we don't want to hard code the value. So what we're going to do is that for the end column, we're going to select our variable. So first free column, which technically would be column D, and we're going to put a minus one. And by doing this, this is saying I want to finish on column C, which is the one before D. And same thing for the row, which would be first free row. And again, we're going to do minus one and click on save. And now that we have our range selected, we need to copy those cells. So if we look on the left, we have copy cells from Excel worksheet. Again, we're going to drag this in. Excel instance, it's always the same. And for the copy mode, if we expand that, we're going to choose values from the selection because on the step before we have selected a range of cells. So value from the selection and then click on save. And so at this stage, what do we want to do? Well, we want to copy those cells into another worksheet, but this worksheet doesn't exist yet. So we need to create it. So we're going to have add um, a worksheet. I'm just going to look for it. And we have this add new worksheet. We need to enter a new worksheet name. So let's do Power Automate Desktop Test. And where do we want to add this new worksheet? We're going to add it last and click on save. And now that we have this new worksheet, we want to copy and paste in the new worksheet. So let's look for paste. 
and paste sales to Excel worksheet. We're going to select that. And again, we're going to expand the menu and we have on specified cell or on currently active cell. And so this time we're going to choose on currently active cell because when we're going to open this new worksheet, it's going to be on A1 directly. Let's click on save. And so at this point, we could just stop there or we can just save the document. Um, but let's run the flow to see if it's actually working. So again, you can see there that my, um, my Excel worksheet is open. So the terminate the process would be actually a good thing. And I'm going to click on run. And I am going to open Excel. And you can see that we have our values that have been pasted. So we have our sample data in here. I'm going to just click on S and then the new worksheet, which is at the end. And we have our data in here. And so in this video, I just showed you a very simple way to copy paste data from one worksheet to another worksheet by selecting some specific cells.